Carte Blanche's birthday campaign has delivered again, this time to the Charlotte McLeague Johannesburg Academic Hospital. A state-of-the-art digital theatre now makes endoscopic surgery on par with the best in the world. We're going to meet Timothy and Marvin, operated on just weeks ago, and their lives have been changed forever. To the untrained eye, any operating theatre looks high-tech. But on closer inspection, this equipment is showing its age. A tangle of wires, a mechanical operating table, machines that belong in a medical museum. Now that's all about to change. Thanks to the generosity of corporate South Africa, this theatre, which has been in use for 28 years, is about to be replaced with a state-of-the-art digital hanging theatre, taking paediatric surgery at this hospital well into the 21st century. The Carte Blanche Making a Difference campaign is the single biggest charity drive in South African history. We've managed to raise 58 million rand for paediatric units in six public hospitals, including the Charlotte MacLeague at Johannesburg Academic Hospital. Without uh, the equipment to be able to keep up with the rest of the world, uh, we would fall very rapidly behind. Professor Peter Beale is head of paediatric surgery. Every day he's faced with difficult cases, like that of three-year-old Carl Lawrence. After five months of chemotherapy, the cancerous tumour in this little boy's abdomen has shrunk enough to be removed. Professor Beale believes the impact of the new equipment will be huge. Thanks to carte blanche that we can now you know, compete with, with the Red Cross Children's Hospital in Cape Town and tra surgery training centres throughout the world. The old theatre was stripped and technicians from Marcus Medical installed the new state-of-the-art equipment. Suspended from the ceiling is the latest in high-definition technology. Two widescreen monitors, a touchscreen to capture information, as well as high-resolution digital recording equipment. After just a few days, the new digital hanging theatre was ready for action. Well, this is one of the only machines on the market where you can turn this around. Dr. Jacinta Shung will be training anaesthetist on the new anaesthetic machine, which cost a million rand. The software is new, and the ventilator is quite a nice ventilator. You can do children of all sizes. You can do a 900 gram baby, and you can do a 150 kilogram man on it. Whereas before, we used to have to change the bellows, and there are lots of things you had to change, and we had to get different machines, and we ended up working with five or six machines because you used to use one feature from every machine because no machine was ideal. And this has everything in one. Another improvement is the new operating table which cost 650,000 Rand. Well, this is a state-of-the-art modern operating table which uh, is electronic and controlled <clears throat> by console which allows you to alter the, the shape of the bed and the level of the bed in many ways. The table we had uh, had been here for 30 years uh, and this one replaces that and was not a screening table. In other words, um, you couldn't take x-rays through it or screen a patient through it. The sponsors who together contributed over three million rand towards the theatre were invited to the unveiling and welcomed by carte blanche executive producer George yes. Mazarakis. We are absolutely humbled by the fact that you've trusted us enough to give us your money and to know that it's going to a valuable place. After revealing just how their money had been spent, theatre staff celebrated this new beginning by pelting guests with streamers. And once the ribbon was finally cut, they gave full voice to their appreciation and excitement. <laughs> Hospital CEO Dr. Kaya Mfenyana was also grateful for the donations. It goes a long way in addressing the, the period that we live in economically. Please uh, keep the, the good work and you've, you've clearly made a mark on the continent for our hospital. One of the first children to be operated on in the new theatre is 13-month-old Timothy Bierkus. Timothy's mum had a stroke after she gave birth to Timothy and at six weeks we decided to take Timmy. He was still in hospital, so we decided to take him. We never knew what was really wrong with Timothy, but we took him home. Timothy has cerebral palsy, brain damage, and epilepsy. He can't swallow normally and suffers from severe reflux. It's been tough for him at the moment, you know. It's, 
a year now where he's been struggling, uh, crying a lot, really crying, you know, with, with pain. The team is going to perform a gastric wrap, which means wrapping his stomach around the lower end of his esophagus to stop the reflux. The endoscopic surgeon is Dr. Bob Banigbal. We're going to insufflate the abdomen with carbon dioxide so that we have a space to, to look at what we are doing. Endoscopic surgery is done through tiny portals in the abdomen. Using a camera and miniature instruments, the doctors can see exactly what they're doing on high-resolution screens in front of them. Uh, just going to insert the liver retractor okay. and drop the table down. With the retractor holding Timothy's liver out of the way, the team can now start working on his stomach. Just, we're dis disconnecting any blood vessel that is holding the stomach so that it becomes more mobile. So once we have it more mobile, we can actually go around it and turn it on itself. Dr. Banigbal makes an opening underneath Timothy's esophagus through which he'll be able to pull part of the stomach and wrap it around the esophagus. So now you can see the stomach on either side. There's a stomach on either side. So this is going to go up like this to close, the, close that gap. So that will, will allow the reflux to be controlled. That's how we're going to suture it. Using a tiny needle, the surgeon sews one side of the stomach to the other, making sure that Timothy will no longer suffer from reflux and all the ensuing complications. Gastric wrap surgery isn't new, but the level of care that this hospital can now offer children is far superior to before. Previously, we had an old generation of laparoscopic coupon with low resolution, so this kind of operation would have been a lot more challenging and more uh, hazardous. With a better technology, we do a better operation. The hospital now expects to double the number of endoscopic procedures performed every month. And the next patient is five-year-old Marvin Makomboti. He also has a problem with reflux and often vomits after eating. His mother, Christine, stays with him while the anaesthetist puts him under. Endoscopic surgery is minimally invasive, so little Marvin will have less post-operative pain and be able to go home sooner. This operation was a bit more complicated than normal surgery we do. This was because the, the opening in the diaphragm was much larger, and because of it, the stomach has prolapsed inside the chest, which is not uh, something that we see that often. And because of that, we had to pull the stomach down into the abdomen and uh, release adhesions, close the defect, and do the wrap. After stitching up the small holes in his abdomen, the doctors wake Marvin up and send him back to his mother waiting in the ward. Just one more child for whom the sponsors have made a difference. Ned Bank donated one million rand. It's an absolute delight to be part of the process and, and actually could see that Somebody took it from an idea and right, right down to delivery. MediClinic also donated a million rand. The making of a difference campaign is very commendable and we're very glad to be associated with this campaign. Standard Bank gave 600,000 rand towards this particular theater. If we wake up every day and say, today did I make a difference, you can say I made a difference to that one. The Langa Trust gave half a million rand. Everybody should actually be entitled to this kind of care, um, especially when you're talking about sick children. I think it's something that touches everybody's heart. So as a family, we really are honored to be part of this. Marcus Medical gave 450,000 Rand in discounts. This theater now boasts uh, state-of-the-art uh, equipment, which I'm sure will make a big difference to many of the children in the community. Group 5 gave 100,000 Rand. We feel that really we have done the right thing, and uh, so we are truly grateful that we have been part of this initiative. 90,000 Rand of coal procurement's 1 million went to this theater. This is outstanding. My daughter was treated the Joburg Gen years ago very well, and to see what the kids today can have, it makes it even more as well. John Craig, Nova Nordist, National Brands, and the Mall of Rosebank each gave 50,000 Rand. Donations were also received from Java Capital, Mug and Bean, Defy, and Rudolf and Van Fieren.
In the children's waiting room outside the paediatric theatre is one of dozens of TV sets donated by LG. And within this environment, children will come here before they go into theatre and the TVs will make a difference. Two weeks after his surgery, Marvin is back in the saddle riding his favourite bike and he's no longer in pain. He's coming all right now, he's eating, he's playing, he's doing everything. The small scars on his tummy will eventually disappear and he can now get on with the important business of being a child.